the, the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of thy what? Vanity. Because this world ain't nothing but vanity. Yes, sir. But it don't matter once you die, that's it. Ain't it? You understand? Then when the Lord wake you up, now, that's what means something. Where are you going to go? <laughs> are you just living? I mean, are you living or are you just merely existing? Because if you just existed, then you need to get with Israel's church of the living God then. Amen. <laughs> if you just existed. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the, the life of thy vanity. Go ahead. Which he have given thee under the sun uh -huh. all the days of thy vanity. You see who gave it to you though? All that you got, God gave it to you. Amen. Amen. All the days of your vanity. Go ahead. For that is thy portion in this life. That is thy portion in this life. But there is a life to come though, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's the one you really better be worried about. <laughs> That's the one you got to really be worried about. Because you're going to go to sleep in this one. You understand? It's over with. But then the Lord going to wake up. <laughs> wake up. You heard me. <laughs> then put everything that you have done in front of your face. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And the only thing you can do is tremble. And the guy that's been lying to you on Sunday, he mm. gonna be trembling too. <laughs> that's right, brother. Read. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. For that is that portion in this life uh -huh. and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun. Go ahead. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, uh -huh. do with thy might. He said, Whatsoever thy whatsoever thy hand findeth to do. Do it with thy might. Whatever you want to do in this life, do it. You know, you want to be a, a, a farmer, be a farmer. You want to be an engineer, do it. Stop messing around. Stop procrastinating. Do it. Enjoy your life. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do. You want to be a doctor, do it. You got the wherewithal and the means to do it? Do it. Enjoy your life while you're here. Go ahead and read. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. See, you ain't going to be able to do nothing else once you get in that grave. But then you got to come out that grave, though. So where you going to go? <laughs> That's why you better get things straight while you're here now. That's right. And, and even enjoy your life. Lord didn't say you couldn't enjoy your life. Whatever you want to do, do it. You want to go to a, a theme park and go get on the rides? Go do it. Enjoy yourself. You want to dance a little bit? Go dance. You want to drink a little bit? Go drink a little. Don't get drunk. <laughs> you understand? But enjoy your life while you're here. Enjoy your wife while you're here. And wife, enjoy your husband, your kids while you're here. Because ain't, you ain't going to be able to do none of this in the grave. We have, we're not going to be able to do none of this in the grave. Let's go to Philippians. Let's go to Philippians, the second chapter. We got one more after this. Philippians 2. And we're going to pick it up at verse two, uh, 9. Philippians 2 and 9. Everybody got it? Amen. Go ahead and read. Wherefore God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Uh-huh. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Now you see that? He said that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Every, you know what every means? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody going to be down on the knee bowing. Everybody. I don't care what nation you come from. Every knee shall bow. Go ahead. Of things in heaven. Uh-huh. And things in earth. Go ahead. And things under the earth. Go ahead. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You understand what every mean? That ain't just for Israel, then, is it? No, oh, sir. Every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Go ahead. To the glory of the God, of God the Father. To the glory of God the Father. Let's go now. 
Every, every knee gonna bow and every tongue gonna confess. I don't care who you are. So whether you doing this thing now, walking in the word of God now and bowing to him, whether you're doing it now, you're gonna be doing it. If you ain't doing it now, you're gonna be doing it later. One way or the other, bro. Yes, sir. It's coming. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, Judaism, I don't care what you are. Every knee and tongue go confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let's go to Revelation. This is the last one. Revelation 21 and 8. Revelation 21 and 8. When you get it, go ahead and read it. But the fearful and unbelieving and an abominable uh -huh. and murderers. Wait a minute, hold it. Who is the abominable? Didn't the Lord say, don't make yourself abominable by these things which you eat? Mm. And we're in Revelation 21, ain't we? Come on, brother. <laughs> he said, but the fearful and the unbelieving. See, they don't believe in the Lord. And the abominable. Uh-huh. And murderers. Uh-huh. And whoremongers and sorcerers. Uh -huh. And idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Uh-huh. Which is the second death. So now I got a question for you. Are you living or are you just existing? Thank you. I hope everybody got some understanding from this lesson. Now we will have a reading of the announcements. Grace and peace to our brothers and sisters here at the Israel's Church of the Living God. If this is your first visit, we hope you come back and worship with us again next Sabbath. There is no eating or drinking in the sanctuary with the exception for water. Brothers and sisters, please adhere to the dress code of Israel's Church of the Living God. Brothers, please remove any head covering upon entering the building. Do not wear sleeve sleeveless shirts, fleece jogging pants, shorts, tight fitting pants, or any other revealing attire. Sisters, if you must have a head covering, this is required. Hat, scarf, etc. Do not wear short skirts, midriffs, or see-through blouses, mini dresses, mini skirts, halter tops of any kind, revealing splits, tight fitting, or cleavage revealing attire, modest apparel only. We have Bibles and scarves available for visitors. If you use a Bible or scarf that belongs to Israel's Church of the Living God, please return it prior to leaving. If you live in the Lake County, Illinois area, please watch our television program, The Word for Life, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. on Comcast, Channel 17. In an effort to expand the church ministry, we have started a building fund. You can make your secure payments online using our PayPal account at www.israelschurchoftlg.org or you can send your donations to the attention of ICOTLG P.O. Box 8933, Waukegan, Illinois, 60079. We thank you for your past contributions and hope for your continued, con for your continued support. Free will donations are welcome and appreciated. Uh, we also have a, a black history program that will be uh, coming up soon here in February. Uh, we'll give you more details on that uh, as the time progresses. Finally, brothers and sisters, please continue to pray for one another. These are today's announcements. If you'd like to contact us here at Israel's Church of Living God, you can give us a call at 847-636-4792. That's 847-636-4792. We also would like for you to join us on our website, israelschurchoftlg.org. That's israelschurchoftlg.org. And as Caleb said, we um, have a Black History event coming up in February. It's going to be February the 16th and walking in at the Milan uh, Banquet Hall. And we will be giving you for, uh, more information as, like you said, as we progress.